All right, so we're going to do a video where we actually do something a little bit simpler this time. Uh, honestly, this whole thing is basically going to be one big challenge. Uh, what we want is for when that creature is hit right there, and he goes ahead and explodes. We're going to make a nice little explosion animation. They have some pretty cool effects inside this art pack. So why don't you go ahead and see if you can try to figure that out. All right, welcome back. So... I've been thinking a lot about like what to do with this pack and we're almost done now like I'm gonna make maybe a couple more enemies just for fun just like flowing around like the eagles and stuff maybe make a possum enemy but I mean there's really not much more to learn in terms of like the strict basics here of how to make a platformer game we've got the collection system we've messed with the UI we have enemies that can move and act and do things separately like uh we're almost ready for the next series go to something a little bit more advanced do something a little bit crazier but anyway let's jump into this we're gonna make our game a little bit fancier we're doing something a little bit simpler this time we're gonna go ahead and make this guy explode when he gets hit so we're first off we're gonna need an animation of course we're gonna go sunny land artwork sprites fx enemy death so you see right here it goes do 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 that's pretty cool so we're gonna hit shift make that to 16 apply that fixes that we're gonna create animation death animation so enemy death we're gonna drag enemy death over to the frog All right and we're gonna go to animator I'm gonna look at anime death we're gonna to go to make transition from any state it's gonna be based off of a trigger let's say and it's gonna be death meaning that this is gonna click and it's gonna to go to death from literally you can be in any of these states and it's just gonna go to death based off this trigger right here right it's only gonna play once because it only triggers once okay so first thing first let's go into the animation window so right here animation we're gonna go frog we're gonna go to enemy death and we're gonna go ahead and mess with this a bit drag them all over we're gonna want all right something along the lines of that i actually messed up by one line And we're gonna drag over the last one one more time and do it right there and then we're gonna go take a look at our enemy and see what he looks like when he's dying yeah explosion baby because that's what frogs do all right so we got a death animation going there it looks pretty good now we got to talk about how to uh go ahead and make that actually happen you know like once that animation plays so Let's go into the scripting right here. We're going to actually, see the thing is right now we're actually destroying the object when we're actually colliding with him with the player, right? So when we, um, where is it? It's actually on collision enter, right? It's one of our events here. So right now is, so we get hurt, but right here is where we kill the enemy, right? Problem is we don't necessarily want the enemy to be destroyed right off the bat uh, we want to play that animation make it look a little better and do that kind of stuff so we might want to keep the jump function inside of here but we want also want to communicate to the enemy to the frog that we are jumping off of his head so for now we're going to do it with the frog but we'll actually go into inheritance later uh, before I finish off the series so that you guys can actually learn about it and see how it's actually supposed to be done so you can have the same thing happen within like multiple enemy types and stuff like that so let's, let's We'll, we'll do it a little bit later, but for now we're going to do like a, just an effect so that you guys can get a feel for it. So, if we know that the, the other is tagged enemy, what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable. We're going to create an enemy variable, right? Or not enemy, frog, sorry. <laughs> I was like, why is this not working? Uh, frog, we're going to call him frog. And we're going to say equals other dot game object dot get component and we're gonna say frog so now we can actually get our component just like we've been doing with the rigid bodies and everything else right and we get them as a frog the same thing that we actually made right and then we're gonna want to run a function on them and in order for another script to actually run a function it has to be public if this was private it would not work so if it's private we're gonna say death right 
pretty awesome, right? So death is going to occur, and in order for death to occur, we're going to actually, in the case of this frog, is going to run or trampoline. I don't know. I'm just going to call it something that makes sense because death I actually want him to disappear on. So let's call it trampoline or jumped on, jumped on. Yeah, you've been jumped on, fool. Um, so we're going to call it that public void jumped on, right? So over here, we're going to say, and we made our frog over there. So frog dot jumped on. And we run it. So right now, so because we got the object over here, we said the frog. And we're, and because we made it so we have it over here, we have jumped on, it actually happens. And then for this, we want to play that animation. And then we're going to make an animation effect that actually kills us. So we're going to say private boy death. And we're going to say destroy this, in other words, myself. And we're going to go jumped on, and we're going to say anim.set trigger. We're going to make sure that it is death. And that's all you need, actually, because it's a trigger, it's, it only gets set like that. So and that should do it. Let's make sure that death was the right name. It is. So now let's go test it out. I'm not going to kill him yet because we never triggered the death. Oh, I missed. He's been jumped on. He's been jumped on again. It's not being destroyed now, but we can continuously jump off his head. Now, why is the death animation not playing is the big question. Oh, because we never made the transition. Okay, well, that would help. So let's go into animators, let's go to the, where the transition's at, make sure that we have this all set up correctly. We're going to hit the condition, we're going to go death, and now that is going to that is gonna trigger now. You know what, I'm going to set it all correctly. So let's go over here. Zero. There we go, much better. So it'll be instantaneously. Hopefully you guys did that when you first saw it. Alright, so we're going to go over here. Now we should jump on his head. Not get hit. There we go. And as you see, it plays the death animation, right? Now we're going to go to the frog, go to his window, open up the animation window. And from here, I want you guys to make an event that runs at death. Alright, so you go over to frog, you want to go to enemy death. And you want to go over here to where the last thing here, hit this plus button right here. You see that it's running an animation event. We go death and then it should go ahead and run now. And we don't actually want the animation loop by the way, if you guys were wondering why I did that. Oh man, I got hurt too. Surprising. Boom. Oh, he's not destroying. I actually did make a mistake earlier. I shouldn't have said destroy this. It should have been destroy this dot game object. I don't know what I was thinking. It just this is actually just this component, this frog right here. My mistake, guys. So we go inside of here, we run this, get through the cherries, and jump on his head, and he is now gone. It's pretty cool. You have this like nice little effect there. It feels a little bit better. He's, the, he's exploding, so it makes a lot more sense why we're bouncing off his head like he's a trampoline. Stuff. Right? So, thank you very much. I hope that you liked the video. Please hit the like button below if you did. Um, we're going to go into the, in the next couple of videos, we're going to go into like cameras and like uh, fixing up like things so that it looks better when you're jumping around and such. But, and then we're going to go into inheritance and then we're going to make the ending to the game and then this series is accomplished. So we're within like, what, probably like six or seven videos to the end here, depending on how long I decide to make these. So... <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for hanging out with me. Please have the best day. Uh, please leave me comments, just data below about what you want to see next and such. I'm probably already made most of the second video series at this point that you're actually hearing and seeing this. The third video series, I'm going to be very open to like knowing what you guys want. I'm going to be looking to the comments for this first video series. What I like to do is make the entire series and then release the whole thing, uh, one video a day, and then do it again and then again. So, um, yeah, I, w I would like to keep on making videos. I want to make a lot of them. So uh, please leave me some feedback down below. Thank you very much. Have the best day. Bye.